Hi, Tulips. Good morning. Happy Monday. I miss you guys, and I can't wait to see you again on Wednesday. Okay, are you guys ready to sing hello? Let's sing hello. Hello, cha-cha-cha. Hello, cha-cha-cha. Hello, and how are you? Cha-cha-cha. I'm fine, cha-cha-cha. I'm fine, cha-cha-cha. And I hope that you are too, cha-cha-cha. Okay, so I don't have that much at home with me today, so we're just going to have to make do with what I do have. Okay, um, I would like to start by teaching you guys a new letter. Now, usually we watch the Starfall video after this and our YouTube video. Obviously, I can't do that with you right now, um, but I will put a link below. Lily and Abraham, you're used to this. I will put a link below with the Starfall and the YouTube ABC Mouse song for you guys to watch for the letter T. So, I just told you what letter it was. I meant to write it on here first. That's okay. You guys probably don't miss on that anyway. We're going to do this in our WebEx meetings later. What letter is this? I just told you. Let's see who's paying attention. Good. It's T. Can we say T? T. And what sound does T make? T says T. T. Can we say T? T. Like, hmm, let me draw one, probably not very well, but ta ta turtle, Abraham, I know you have one of these. Can we say ta ta turtle, ta ta turtle, good. Can we say t t ta ta for ta ta turtle, ta ta turtle, very good guys. Oh, I just realized there's some, someone behind me that starts with the letter T, hold on. I grabbed somebody that starts with the letter T. This is Tyrion. Tyrion, say hi, Tulips. Hi. Tyrion starts with T. Ta, ta, Tyrion. Ta, ta, Tyrion. Can you guys think of any words that start with the letter T? And you guys can bring them to our meeting later. Can you guys think of your own words that start with T? So can we say T, T, ta, ta, and ta, ta, Tyrion. Ta, ta, Tyrion. Tyrion, say bye-bye, tulips. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is our new letter. We're also going to do a new sight word today. Let's go over our old sight words first because they all have to do with each other. Okay, so let's go over our first one that we've learned. What does this say? What does Y-E-S spell? Good, this spells yes. Can we say yes? Yes. Now I'm going to change this to last week's sight word. And then this week's sight word has so much to do with this. You'll see. They actually mean the same thing. What does N-O spell? N-O spells no. Can we say no? No. My No, it is not warm out today. No. Very cold. Ready? Now. For this week's, it's going to be pretty much the same meaning, but I'm going to add a T to it. Does anybody know what N-O-T spells now instead? What does N-O-T spell? It spells not. Right? Can we say not? Not. It is not warm today. Not. I don't know what happened to the weather. Not. It is not warm today. Can you guys come up with your sentence for not? Okay, my sentence. Sorry, I only have one caller, guys. But that's okay. We know a lot of these words already. So, can you guys read this for me? I am not in your, and this word we don't know, center. You might have seen it on our center sign, so that's why I picked it. Ready? Can we say this together? You guys know all, we've learned all of these words already. And then this one's just one we might have seen around the classroom. So can we say it together? I am not 
in your center. Ready? One more time. I am not in your center. So that's going to be our sight word sentence for the week. Okay, now let's do our word family that we started. Sorry, I know it's kind of hard on this tiny board, guys, but I don't have a real whiteboard at home. This is the only one I have. Who remembers what this says? This is our word family, and this actually, this was just in our sight word sentence. What does A-T spell? A-T spells at. Can we say at, right? I am at home right now. At. So I'm going to add some letters to make new words, right? Let's start off with the ones we've done already, and I'll add a new one today. What letter is this? It's C, right? And what sound does C make? C says ka, ka. And then we're going to add at. So I have ka, at, ka, at, ka, at, ka, at. What word is this? Cat, right? Meow. Can we say cat, cat? Good. This is the next one we had done. What letter is this? Oh, let me draw a line down the middle. Sorry, it's kind of hard on this tiny board. What letter is this? Good, it's R. And what sound does R say? R, R. So we have R, at. R, at. R, at. R, at. What word is this? Rat, right? Like a little rat. Squeak, squeak. Could we say rat? Rat. Good. We had another one that was also an animal. What letter is this? This was B, right? What sound does B make? B says B, B. And then we're going to add at. That came out super sloppy. Hold on. I'll fix that so you can actually see what this says. There we go. So we have bat. Can we say bat? Bat. Mm, you can see Terry. Can we say bat? Remember like a bat that flies or a baseball bat? Can we say bat? Bat. Good. Now we had started this one last week and then I'll add one new one today because we're getting towards the end of the month. We might as well finish off our word family. What letter is this? Good. H. Can we say H? H. And what sound does H make? H says H. Then we're going to add at. So we have H. At. H. At. H. At. What word do we hear? Hat. Right? Like I wear a hat on my head. Can we say hat? Hat. Now I'm going to add a new one today. Because like I said, we're getting towards, well, it's the middle of the month, but we have a couple of days off at the end of the month, so it's kind of towards the end, so we'll just finish up everything, or start to finish it off at least. What letter is this, guys? This is our, word, our letter from last week, right? It says, like a snake, S can we say, S and then we're going to add at, so let's see what word we make now. We have S at, S at, S at, what word is this? Sat, like I sat down. Can we say sat, sat? Good. I sat down. Okay. So here's our word family for now. Like I said, we're not done. We're going to keep adding a couple more. This is where we're at for now. Huh? We're at. Get it? Okay. Can we say at, at, cat, cat, rat, rat, bat, bat, hat, hat, sat, sat. Oh, and I forgot to point out all of our words rhyme because they have the same ending sound. They all in an at, so they all rhyme. Okay, let's go over our color, shape, and numbers for the month. Again, unfortunately, I don't have all of our stuff at school, so just bear with me, guys. Sorry. Okay, so let's go over the numbers so far that we've learned. So let's start out with this one. This was the first one. What number is a one and a zero? Good, it's 10. So now I'm gonna change this. I'm not gonna do them in order. I just realized that'll be too easy. What number is a one and a two, guys? Good, this is 12. Can we say 12, 12? Good, and then our other one we've learned before was this one. What number is a one and a one? So this is 11. Can we say 11, 11? Very good. So, now I'm going to change this up for this month's numbers. Okay, this is our first one. What number is a one and a three, friends? This is 13. Can we say 13, 13? And our other number is a one and a four, which is what? 
14 go can we say 14 14 oh bless you so one more time 13 13 14 14 very good guys okay so now our shape of the month Apologize for the horrifyingly bad drawing skills, but this is what we got. Okay, who knows the name of our shape of the month? What shape is this supposed to be? It's supposed to be an oval. Can we say oval? Oval. So does oval, doesn't oval friends have round sides? I mean, oh my god, I just thought it totally wrong. My bad. Let's rewind that. Does it have straight sides or does it have curved sides? Right? We said ovals are not round the other day, so confusing myself. Does an oval have straight sides or does it have curved sides? It has curved sides, right? Could we say curved sides? Curved sides. Very good. Okay, now last but not least, I need to find something in this room that's this color. So hold on, let me freeze this for a sec. Ah, perfect. I found something cute. I was looking for something cute. Look, it's Yoshi. What color is this Yoshi, friends? It's actually an amiibo for my Wii, but what color is this Yoshi? Good, he's blue. Could we say blue, blue? This Yoshi is blue. Hi, tulips. Good, one more time. Could we say blue, blue? Blue is our color of the month. Thanks for your help, Yoshi. Okay, so. Friends, we're going to continue talking about our water unit this week. Remember last week we talked about all the places we can find water. So this week we're going to talk about different temperatures. So what does the word temperature mean? It means hot or cold. So we're going to talk about what happens when water changes to different temperatures, okay? So we know right now we are at the very, 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 very end of winter. There's only a couple more days. Actually, Saturday is going to be the first day of spring. So we're going to get a bit of a change in temperature right now. Well, actually it wasn't last week, but right now it was a little cold, right? Because we're still at the end of winter. When we start to get to the beginning of spring, it's going to start to get a little warmer. That's actually going to change our weather. If you guys think about it, what weather have we had all winter? What's been falling from the sky? We've had a lot of snow, right? Remember? We actually had to miss a few days of school and we had to do school on the computer just like we're doing right now because we've had a lot of snow. Right? We've had a lot of snow this whole winter. So that actually is going to give us a clue. What type of weather do we get snow in? Hot or cold weather? Cold weather, right? All winter, brr, it's been cold. So it's been snowing in the cold, cold winter. So that's going to give us a little hint about what we're talking about. So we're going to talk about things that fall from the sky. The things that fall out of our clouds, like snow, have a fancy name. The things that fall out of our clouds, like the snow, are called precipitation. Wow, what a big word. But it really does not that fancy. We're gonna find out. Precip, hold on, give me a second. It still didn't really fit, guys. Sorry, I thought if I paused it and tried again, but it still kind of made a mess. Okay, so we're gonna talk about the, the types of water that fall out of our clouds this week. These are all called precipitation. Can we say that? Precipitation. Wow, what a big word. Can we say it one more time? Precipitation. So one type of precipitation that we've been seeing a lot lately is snow, okay? It's been snowing this whole winter, right? Snow has fallen out of the clouds because it's been very cold. Well, it's not going to stay cold for long. Like I said, it's springtime very, very soon, actually starting Saturday. Um... So what do you think is going to fall out of our clouds now if it's not going to be snow anymore? What falls out of our clouds when it's a little warmer? Rain, right? We're going to get rain soon instead of snow. We actually had a little bit last week. So rain is another type of precipitation. Now spring, friends, is known as a rainy season. It's going to rain a lot during spring, okay? So as we start to have our sp uh, spring start, again, it'll be Saturday, we're going to start to need to bring our umbrellas with us to school and maybe our rain boots because it's going to rain a lot. Can we say rain, rain? And I think it's next week or the week after. 
I think it's next week actually, we're going to make little umbrellas to hang in our window at school to celebrate the start of spring, okay, and all the rain we're going to get. But guess what? Even though snow and rain are the two types of precipitation we know the most, there's actually four. So what are the other four? I mean, what are the other two? Well, we haven't seen this in a while, but we saw it a little bit over the winter. Sometimes we get what's called sleet. So what is sleet? Sleet are little tiny, teeny chunks of ice that fall out of the sky. So again, what type of weather do we get this in? Cold weather, okay? So it goes with our snow. So sleet is cold chunks of ice that fall out of the sky. And our last one is similar to sleet, but they're big chunks of ice. Apologize for the horrible drawings. These big chunks of ice are called hail. These almost look at the kind of ice that comes out of our freezer. So hail is big chunks of ice that come out of the sky. Now we get these a lot, not so much during winter, I mean sometimes, but you know when we get them a lot during thunderstorms in the summer, we can get hail. They're big chunks of ice that fall out of the sky. So how do we get these different types of precipitation? Well, I said it has to do with the temperature, okay? When it's really cold outside, the water in the clouds freezes or turns hard. When it turns hard, it turns into a solid snow, okay? When it freezes, it turns into snow and sleet and hail when it freezes and gets cold. When it's warm, it doesn't freeze. It stays liquid. I grabbed a cup of water here. Maybe I shouldn't have put it in a Hello Kitty glass. It's kind of hard to see, but I know some of you guys like, like Hello Kitty Elena especially, so I grabbed my Hello Kitty glass. Um... The type of water that's in our clouds during rain is liquid, okay? It's the type of water that comes out of our faucet. When it's warm, it stays in a, in a liquid form. So when it rains, it's kind of warm out, it stays in a liquid. When it gets cold, this freezes or turns solid like ice. I unfortunately don't have any ice cubes. Um, I should have made some, but it didn't. Um, it turns hard like a solid and we get our snow, okay? So that's why during the winter it was snowing a lot because it was cold, the water froze and turned into snow. Now that it's gonna be warmer in spring, it's going to rain in a liquid form of water. So can we say our different types of precipitation? We have snow, can you guys repeat after me? Snow, snow, rain, rain, sleet, sleet, hail, hail. We're gonna talk about this all week. But I just want to introduce these words to you today. So one more time, can we say snow, snow, rain, rain, sleet, sleet, hail, hail. These are our four types of precipitation, which is just a fancy word for water that comes out of the clouds. Can we say precipitation, precipitation. So speaking of precipitation, I'm going to read you guys a book about the type of precipitation that we're going to get in spring. Remember I said it's spring, so our water is going to stay liquid, like the stuff that comes out of our water, out of our faucet, okay, and it's going to rain. So I brought you guys a pretty cute book I, about rain. It's called Rain. Now, if we look on the front cover here, we could see that this little girl is dressed for the rain, okay? She's got a rain hat, it's a froggy one, and a rain coat. She's got rain boots, right? So, so she's all ready for the rain. So these might be things we're gonna wear in spring. You might wear a rain coat and rain boots. And she's jumping in a puddle, which is my our source of water. And funny enough, we can see her reflection in the water, right? Remember, water reflects. So this book is called Rain. And if we look here on the cover, we could see this book won an award. It won the Jack Ezra Keats Book Award. So remember, when we see a sticker like this, we know this is going to be a good book because it won an award. So this book is Rain. And look, she has an umbrella. That's another thing we're going to need in spring. We're going to need our raincoat, rain boots, and umbrella for the rain in spring. Rain. Oh, look at all the rain. So friends, remember when it's raining, we have gray clouds. It's kind of gloomy out sometimes. 
Ugh, rain. Yay, rain! So this old man doesn't look happy, does he? He's like, oh, rain. But the little boy's like, yay, rain! Ugh, galoshes. Blasted overcoat. There goes my hair. Is it raining cats and dogs? It's raining fogs and pollywogs. Hippity hop. So we can see the difference. This man is very angry. He's like, oh, I don't like the rain. Or this kid's like, yay. He's happy because he gets to play in the rain. Good morning, sir. <sighs> Hardly a good morning. Puddles. Good morning, young man. Ribbit, ribbit. Oh, look, he's jumping in the puddles just like Peppa Pig. Enjoy your paper. <clears throat> it's probably just more bad news. Well, you guys can't really see. I'm going to move the table a little. I'm going to just knock my laptop on the floor. Try to move it closer. Let's see if that's better. These people are like, what are you so angry about, dude? And you notice everyone has their umbrellas to get ready for the rain. Hop, hop, hoppity hop. How are you, Mr. Frog? Yay! So look, he's having fun playing. Oh, finally. We're here! They're at the Rain or Shine Cafe. I'll have one coffee, please. Black. I'll have a hot cocoa and cookies, please. Yummy! Ooh, those do look delicious. Uh, yummy! Delicious! Hey, watch out! Oh, I'm sorry. Rip it! No. <sighs> oh no, his hat. Hmm. So they bumped into each other and the old man lost his hat. Anybody take a guess what this little boy could do? What do you think the little boy should do with the man's hat? What do you think he's going to do? Take a guess or a prediction? Hmm. Let's see. <gasps> Here we go. Hey, wait, sir. So it looks like he's bringing his hat back. That's a nice thing to do, right? When someone loses something, you should try to give it back to them. Hey, you. Hey, you. <gasps> Thanks. I'll take that hat, too. My hat? <gasps> Ribbit? So look, now he tried on the frog hat. <laughs> and look, friends, do you notice something? Looks like he's smiling now. Why do you think he's smiling? Hmm. I wonder if the little boy giving him back his hat made him feel better. And look, now the little boy's sharing his cookie. So it seems like somebody being nice to him made him feel all better, right? He was feeling really grouchy, but then when this little boy was nice to him and shared his cookie with him, it made him feel all better. So I think that's maybe why it's so important to be nice to people. It can make people feel all happy. I mean, if they're having a bad day, maybe it helps them to feel better. <gasps> Yummy! Thank you! Bye! So look, now he's all happy. Oh. The little boy made him his day all better. Welcome back, sir. Ribbit, ribbit. Oh, now even he's jumping in the puddles. The end. So I hope you guys like that little story about rain. I'm going to also send you guys a little video today with the four different types of precipitation. Snow, rain, sleet, and hail. So you can see how these actually look. Because let's be honest, my drawing's not that great. So I'm going to send you a YouTube video so you can actually see how these four different types of precipitation look. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the little video. Um, also, in my lesson plan today, I have a little read aloud link. Um, because for March, we're learning about Women's History Month. Um, I was going to read in our afternoon circle today, I'm Amelia Earhart. I don't have it here. But I do actually have a YouTube video with a link with the author Brad Meltzer himself reading the Amelia Earhart book. 
So when you guys are done with this, if you want to watch that afternoon circle video, it's in our lesson plans. Um, I will see you guys later too at our WebEx meeting, and I will see you tomorrow at circle time. Bye, guys. I hope you have an awesome day. Bye.